Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2 Today with part 70 of playing every division in the game We will take a look at Verte Digons Gebereich Toulon So defense per defensive perimeter Toulon Verte Digons Bereich Bereich Anyway, um, form the impromptu garrison of France important Mediterranean naval base during Operation Dragoon. This ad hoc, uh, this ad hoc battle group featured elements from the 242nd Infantry Division, Kriegsmarine Troop, artillery units, and put up a fierce fight during the Allied liberation of Toulon. A wide range of different infantry vehicles and guns can be found. Uh, sweet units like the Brendan Burger Special Force, the Italian Maro, a lot of AA guns. Uh, Verte de Guns Bereich Toulon is an excellent defensive battle group with many versatile units but lacks offensive armored firepower. Alright. Let's go look at them. Actually, I need to change the audio real quick. Okay. Alright, let's go look at, um, yeah, lots of infantry. Not a lot of recon, but we do have the mech coming in with the traction, so we will use these dudes. I don't know if these are suppressors on their gun, or, or what, probably. They are a commando unit, I think, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> and I think uh, that could be all. I, I guess these guys with the mech could be a good addition for early recon. Uh, lots of infantry, so let's see what we will get. Right, same. Um, okay. I guess I'm gonna get the KM Boot Bezizong, uh, one star, so that's eight for phase B. We're gonna be good with that. Oh, they have three machine guns, huh? Okay, three machine guns, five MP40. So they're generally just good all o overall. Uh, we're gonna take the Maro in phase B as well. You guys know how much of a defensive player I am. And we're gonna take these Bazooka Pioneer as well in phase B and the Vandenberger in phase B. So basically all my phase B infantry are going to be elite. And I'm going to take these dudes for phase B, uh, Shishilungs are gonna come in phase A because I want that AT, that uh, rifle that's gonna be good to hold against clown cars, especially in towns. Then, uh, oof, 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 only three. I, I guess I should take infantry now, regular infantry. Hmm. They are 12 men strong though. 0.9, 0.7, 0.5, 0 0.8. Yeah, they're literally much better than the Canadier. So I'm going to take these dudes. These dudes. And what? Maybe in phase A, I do have 12 Shishirong. Maybe I could take also like... Uh, numbers here or what? Or should I go for actual Pioneers? Twelve pioneers. Yeah, no, uh okay. I would have liked to have these pioneers for phase C. Um Okay, never mind that. Maybe I'm just gonna put Panzer Grenadier, Panzer Foss, regular troops. So all of my eight infantry will have anti-tank capacity. Yes! Ooh la la! I am not liking this one bit, plus only available in B. Oh boy. Uh, Christ. All right. 520 meters. I will take them, that's gonna help, especially if we pick a town map. Heat rounds, but only 70 me millimeters, I don't know. Alright. 
I do prefer the MG34 because it gives a uh, much more suppression. There you go. I'm actually gonna take six of them unvetted. Hmm. But no. Okay. Uh, there you go. Twelve. Ten. Yeah. The Let's take 12. There you go. Anti-tank. We're going to have these guys coming in. Oh. Who uses the traction? These guys. These guys. And that's all. Alright. Let's not have the mech come in with the traction then. Let's give them the LaFly, I guess. Yeah. Make them cost 10 points more. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright, because these guys, this plus the machine guns, uh, we're going to be able to get on the battlefield rather quick, so that's always good. Um, no. I think that's going to be it. Phase B supply trucks always. RSO. I guess we could take these for meme. Um, I mean, they could kill stuff too. So and they're rather cheap. These guys are. We're gonna be a little bit more serious about them. Wow, I really don't like how they're they're locked. They're locked in place. This is actually fucking decent. 130 mil. Oh, well, we're, we're taking this for uh, phase C. There you go. And, I mean, there are 50 points. All right, that's going to be great. Anti-air. We have a lot of points and, and stuff. So, I think we're going to go... Oh, nothing is actually giving us ammo. That's unfortunate. But anyway, we're going to take two of these in phase B. We're going to take two of these in phase A. And I guess we I guess we should just take now um, these dudes. 20 kilometers yeah no thanks okay so we're gonna take some flak 36 and also just because we need um kind of like a screen with these guys we're also gonna take these flak 20 and um artillery wise well we're gonna go with the classic and there's no 120 millimeters that kind of oh yeah here they are and we're going to take four of them, I guess. I should probably take more AT. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, yeah, these are good. Okay, these things are very good. But first of all, they don't come with ammo trucks. And... I don't usually um, I don't usually keep tracks of all of these artillery so I, I much prefer having mortars I guess this could be good as well um, mm. ah shit these do they do come so boop I'll just uh, switch to that there you go thank god all right airplane <coughs> rocket is always good Especially when they start having um, AA. These dudes, always good as well. Uh, there's 12 of these rockets. Usually would prefer the 130 mil rocket, but anyway. Alright, so just got space now for one more.
Uh, resilience very good. That's faster. This is definitely faster, but eh. I mean, 50 kilogram HE bomb, it's good uh, against infantry. But I think I'm gonna go with these dudes. And then I got two points for something else. Ah, I mean, it could be used for infantry support. We don't have much for infantry support when you take a look at that. There's absolutely nothing. Which, this could fill the role. But not that great. What else could we do? Um, uh, this we can't even because it's three points. Oh, we have some 50 mil mortars right there. Gonna remove this guy and put it here, actually. There you go. I guess we could take more anti-air and use these for... Uh, Anti-tank. Could always be good. I feel like I do have enough, though. Um, but yeah, this... And this is going to be used for anti-air purpose, pretty much. I guess I could go for that. I don't play too long very much. Um, I think I do have a deck of them though. That I took from someone else. Might have deleted it. Too long video. A lot of stuff in Sea Face. I'm not even sure if I'll make it to, to Sea Face. So actually, maybe I should just put him in here in case I need to use them for tank purposes. And then I'd get actual, you know, um, anti-air stuff here. You'd think with all this anti-air stuff, though, I'd have enough. Here, I'll put it in A. And... Um, Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. This, this guy's got 3k range. Okay. This could be good. Maybe I don't necessarily need these guys. That would give me four points more. Um, yeah, I don't really need them elsewhere either. Yeah, you know what? Let's get this guy. Four of them. Okay. I'm not going to double vet these dudes. I'm going to try to use them as support more and I'm going to actively try to engage tanks with these instead of my Stug. Okay, I think this could work. We're, we're going to go with that and uh, I'll see you in the battlefield. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.